Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, let's look at how to find out the area of a square if we know two parallel sides of a square. So let's look at the equation here of the sides. We have 5x minus 12y minus 65 equal to 0 and 5x minus 12y plus 26 equal to 0. So let the equations, let, let these two sides be those. So I'll write down here 5x minus 12y minus 65 equal to 0 and this side is 5x. Equation of this is 5x minus 12y plus 26 equal to 0. Now we, we have been asked to find out the area of the square. We know that area of square is equal to side into side. So if I know the side then I can square it to find out the area. Now the problem is I don't have any coordinates or I haven't been given any any lengths but I see that these two are parallel lines and I know how to find out the distance between two parallel lines. The distance between two parallel lines ax plus by plus c1 equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 equal to 0 is given by c1 minus c2 by root of a square plus b square. So taking this as a b c1 and a b c2 we will have the distance b between these two parallel lines is nothing but equal to c1 minus c2 that is minus 65 minus 26 mod of that so that you will not have any negative value for the distance between two points then you will have square root of a square plus b square a is 5 so 5 square plus b square is 12 square this is equal to 65 plus 26 so can I say mod of minus 91 divided by square root of 25 plus 144 this is equal to 91 divided by square root of 169 that's equal to 91 divided by 13 which is equal to 7. So we know that D is equal to 7. Once we know D, it's very easy to find out the area. Area equal to 7 into 7 that is equal to 49 square units. So whenever we know the equation of one of the two parallel sides, either either these two sides or these two sides. So if we know the equation of two sides, then we can use the formula of finding out the distance between two parallel lines to find out the side of the square. Once we know the side of the square, it becomes pretty easy to find out the area. So that's how we can find out the area. In the next session, we will look into some more examples on distance between two parallel lines.